If you have followed how to make a T-bridle joint part 1, you're now ready to cut out the work pieces. Step 1. Cutting. Fix the mortise piece on the vise with the end grain facing up. Use a crosscut saw to saw down the lines marking the walls. Remember to cut slightly into the wastewood so that there is material left for finishing. Cut both lines all the way down to the floor of the mortise. You can cut another line in the middle of the two cuts to make the next step easier. Now, use a coping saw to cut out the waste wood. Turn the piece to its side and use a vertical held bevel edge chisel and a mallet to even out the walls of the mortise. You can also use the chisel horizontally with a paring action. Use a mortise chisel to flatten the floor of the mortise down to the line. Pair the walls of the mortise some more until they have a smooth finish. Next, fix the tenon piece on the vise with one of the waste width sections facing up. Use a crosscut saw to saw just inside the two lines marking the width of the mortise piece. Saw all the way down to the cheek and create two more relief cuts in the middle of the waste wood. Now, use a horizontally held bevel edge chisel and a mallet to get rid of the waste wood. Once you have reached the halfway point, you can turn the workpiece around and start from the other side of the waste wood. You can also turn the piece to its side and chisel vertically. Pair the cheeks of the tenon until it is smooth and flat. When you are nearing the lines marking the width of the mortise, take the mortise piece and check the fit. Now, turn the piece over to the second section of waste wood and follow the same steps. Clean up the tenon on both sides by paring the base and edges of both sides with a mortise chisel. Step 2. Finishing and assembly. Once the tenon is complete, clamp the mortise piece into the vise and use a mallet to strike the tenon into the mortise. Use a bevel edge chisel to flatten the ends of the mortise flush with the tenon. Use a block plane to get a smooth finish. Turn the piece around and finish all sides using a bench plane. Use a tri-square to make sure that the pieces fit together at a right angle. Adjust by pairing further if necessary. When the fit is good, glue the joint, clamp and leave to dry. You have now learnt how to make a T-bridle joint.